Will cloud consolidation make it rain for investors? We'll see. With us now is John Freeman, Vice President of Equity Research at CFRA. John, if I'm reading this right, Salesforce paid about 30 times revenue for Tableau. If, <laughs> if Slack goes at around the price where it's trading now, it would be in that ballpark. Does that make sense? And what does that say about the market that we're in? Well, I think it should. Yeah, I, I think it should be a little bit less. Uh, I, I think than um, than than thirty times sales. I was thinking thirty. You know, anything anything getting close to thirty billion was going to make me a little squirrely about the deal. Um, but I do think it's. Uh, I, I I do think it's still attractive because remember, Salesforce can now sell Slack as a full. I mean, assuming the deal goes through, as a fully you know as a full fledged product and cross sell that to their existing customers. Um, I think that's very powerful. I think I think Salesforce can generate a lot more sales, uh, you know, with Slack under their belt than Slack could on their own. So I I, I do think it's a very good fit strategically, um, and and also just I I have a lot of confidence in Salesforce's um, ability to execute uh, uh, acquisitions like this because they 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 certainly are getting better and better at doing bigger and bigger deals. Um, they're they're becoming as you know as as uh, proficient as this as Cisco you know really? perhaps in in the 1990s uh, during their uh, M and A heyday. Well, how it, are it's you really competitive advantage now for them? How are you measuring that? And especially when I look at Slack, I, I don't see necessarily a fundamental technology that spreads across uh, you know uh, Salesforce's entire suite of offerings. It seems like more of a hero type app that allows collaboration both within an organization and across organizations. Is that wrong? Right. No, that's exactly right. And so and so Salesforce has been trying to get some sort of, you know, uh, like collaborative and messaging, like, uh, you know, really solidify that part of their portfolio so that the different users of their different applications um, some of them are not even sort of, uh, you know, uh, customer related anymore. They're, you know, obviously Salesforce has expanded, but they want to be able to have all of those people, you know, communicate and collaborate on on different projects, um, regardless of what they're using. And I think that's kind of the idea. Whereas what chat, what Salesforce had before was Chatter, which was uh, more of a feature than a, you know, than a mm -hmm. sort of a standalone app for for messaging and collaboration. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.